Happy International Women's Day. It's the month of March where we celebrate women. Women are amazing, resourceful, powerful in so many ways. And in this episode, I'm going to be sharing five things you can do as a woman to probably create a better financial future for yourself. The very first point is woman don't rely on someone else for your finances i know that this is a very sensitive point for a lot of people <laughs> because a lot of times women depend on family their parents boyfriends husbands children <laughs> like the list can go on and on and on but honestly if you really want to create a financial future for yourself please start making deliberate decisions now that would ensure you do not have to keep relying on other people for your financial future right better money management skills ensure that you're setting money aside to invest please don't be so dependent on other people that you cannot make life decisions for yourself a lot of women find themselves in the position where they cannot make some very very important life decisions because of fear because they do not have money because they are depending on other people so begin to become deliberate about creating a financial future for yourself. Stop relying on other people. All right. The second thing I really believe that every woman should know is stop spending to make yourself feel good. Now, this is a major thing we are guilty of as women. We spend money to make ourselves feel good a lot of times. We go shopping, we buy clothes, shoes. Yes, it's okay to look good. But why don't you just create a budget for it? Create a budget for personal grooming. Yes, nobody's saying that you should not look good or well put together because you are saving money or because you are being frugal. But as much as possible, don't spend money based on your emotions just because you want to feel good. Or maybe you're someone that spends a lot of money when you get bored. You know, know yourself. Know the triggers that make you spend more. Do you spend money when you're hanging out with friends? Do you spend money, you know, when the money just enters your account at the end of the month? It's like your fingers are itching. I have to spend, I have to spend, I have to spend. Know your spending triggers and please don't spend money just to feel good. You might be going through some low season, a disappointment or something, but don't, don't go on a spending spree because it's not going to make you feel good, right? You're going to look at your account balance and you're going to be like, what? What happened here? And you might end up regretting it, right? So find other ways to make yourself look, feel good. Find friends to talk to, right? Read a book or something. Go meditate or something. Find something else to do. It might involve spending money, but don't spend money on don't go spending money on depreciating assets. If it's going to add value to you, that's fine. Maybe a spa treatment or something, fine. But if you're spending money on something that depreciates and doesn't add value to you, it's just going to be a hole in your bank account. All right. The third thing every woman needs to do is to get a financial education. You need a financial education. Ignorance is no excuse. You need to understand how money works how to put money to work and how to make money work for you. Very basic things. How money works, money flows towards value, how to put money to work, various investment options that work for you, the pros and cons of the multiple short-term and long-term investment options in the marketplace, how to make that money work for you with your own investment portfolio, creating a basket of investment options across different asset classes that earn you passive income streams, right? So you need to get a financial education. Don't think that you can just go get a financial advisor and you'll be fine. Financial advisors are good, but number one, they come expensive. And number two, they might not really make decisions in your best interest, right? So that definitely happens. So as a woman, you need to take ownership of your financial future by getting an education on how investment works, the various options you have, the ones that work for you based on your risk appetite, your goals, what you want to achieve. You know, take ownership, deliberate about these things, get a financial education. The fourth lesson is, please, eh, this is probably to the married women, get involved in your family finances. For a lot of women, they are involved in their family finances, but only as far as expenses, <laughs> right? So your income is not just for yourself. I know this is a very sensitive topic because a lot of people say, women, your money is for yourself. No, I think that you should work to, with your spouse to ensure that you are working towards a common goal. Discuss your income, set goals, you know, for what you want to earn decide on where you want to live how much it would cost you to live in those places the kind of schools your children want to go to how much would it cost you 
to, you know, to be able to afford to send your kids, to, your children to those schools. You want to travel once or twice in a year. Don't travel and then come back to meet the debt or get your husband into debt because your family has to travel, right? Get involved in your family finances. Understand the type of financial decisions that you're making as a family. This is very important. A lot of women are absolutely ignorant of what's going on in family finances. And God forbid, one spouse dies and they just stuck. Stuck with nothing, having to beg or having to live at the mercy of the family. I've heard so many, so many crazy stories. We have some traditional rights where women, some you know, members of the family just come and take over the property or, or things that maybe the, the husband owned. And then the woman is left stuck with nothing just because she was not... You know, paying attention to the family finances. As a woman, it is important that you are involved as much as you can, right? If your spouse, you know, is, assist, um, I mean, assistance to share with you, I can understand that it might take a while, but put yourself in a position of trust as well. Show that you have financial education. Show that you are interested in the family goal and in the family vision, not just to come and take money and spend. Sometimes the men are afraid that women will just spend all the money. Actually, I've heard a story of a man says, I cannot tell my wife that I don't earn the bonus. Why? Because all she would think about is how we're going to spend it. Please, let's put ourselves in a better position and let's work with our men to tell them that they should invest their money, they should buy up assets you know, for the future, for the children as well. So please get involved in your family finances. The final lesson or the final thing you need to do as a woman to create a financial future that works for you is don't let fear hold you back. A lot of times, I think women are naturally emotional in nature, and when we go through a situation that, you know, that probably hurt us or scarred us, we're very fearful. Don't let fear hold you back. Just take the lesson from it and move forward with that lesson. Don't let the fear of losing money keep you from taking some risk. If you are young, in your 20s or 30s, less than your 40s, this is time for you to step out, get a financial education, take some risk, because when you get your... 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, that's not the time to start taking risk, right? So don't let the fear of losing money or, you know, if you have a financial education, you know how to make some decisions. You know the pros and cons of each investment option. And that with that knowledge, you make a decision. And even if you do lose money, you take the lesson and you move on, right? Life happens, but we have to keep moving forward. If we all just hold back because we lose money, then we all just be keeping our money under our beds, right? <laughs> you know, you've heard the stories of banks that shut down, so many really sad sub stories. But don't let that fear hold you back. Continue to forge forward, right? To create the future that you want. It might happen, you might lose money. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I have lost money a number of times, but it doesn't stop me. Yes, it hurts. I really hurt sometimes, but you have to move forward, okay? So those are the five lessons for you in this International Women's Month. Number one, please stop relying on people right contribute as much as you can aim at becoming independent as a woman and your independence should not come with you know arrogance let it just come with the confidence with helping and also contributing your quota to your society as a whole the second thing is don't spend money just to make yourself feel good right be very very careful about those times when you feel down or you feel bad because those might be triggers for you to just spend money unnecessary that will just leave a hole in your bank account Third lesson is get a financial education. You cannot afford to be ignorant as a woman. You cannot afford to know what's going on in the world of financial um, decisions and how to make investment decisions, the pros and cons of each investment option. You have to get a financial education. The fourth lesson is get involved in your family finances. Even if you're not married, you're with your parents as well. Get involved in your parents' finances. Bring value to them, especially if you have a financial education. Add value to them. Teach them how to make some decisions that they might not know to make so they don't keep making mistakes. And the final lesson is don't let fear hold you back. Absolutely do not let fear hold you back. Even if you might be afraid of losing money, get the education that would help you. And even if you do lose money, take the lesson. Take the lesson and move forward with that lesson. Right? We've all made mistakes, we've all lost money, but we keep moving forward. That is what makes you and that is what forms you into a full and strong woman. So on that note, I will see you next week. Don't forget to celebrate yourself. Happy International Women's Day. You are very special. Don't ever forget that. See you next week.